<laughs> yeah, boy. Fired up is good, but it's also lacking anything to make it stand out. It's some sort of twisted metal turned into an open world game. The premise is great, there's a plot with some stereotype characters, but the end result is rather generic. The plot doesn't tell you much, nor hooks you, characters are too washed out to be interesting, and the story is text-based anyway, there's no voice acting or cutscenes. The world is an empty wasteland, no pedestrians, no other cars, no, no details, it's just long stretches of stretched pixelated textures and so many enemy cars. The missions are generic too, objectives include the expected destroy all enemies or destroy that target or the annoying x mission. Weapons are generic too, rocket launchers, chain guns, EMPs. You can also get new vehicles by driving into garages hidden around the levels and while there aren't a lot of them, it's worth seeking them out as they drive different. At least the four huge maps are detailed. They're filled with ramps, pipes to drive on, oil rigs to destroy and even building interiors that you can drive into. So even if everything is pixelated and, and has stretched textures, at least at the drivable details you get a lot. And what I mean by that is that even if you don't get that much visual detail, at least there is detail in objects you can interact with. And also the performance is remarkable. It doesn't have dips and the frame rate remains great throughout the whole playthrough. Overall, the game is fun. It's short and generic, but it also has charm. The story is uninteresting, but the gameplay is decent and fun enough to keep you playing. Also, the ad hoc multiplayer modes are fun. In multiplayer, you get King of the Hill, Death Matches, and the Simulation. So, so even if the game is generic, in multiplayer is where the game shines the most. But still, even if I was super critical with the single player mode, it's still fun. It has its own charm, it's fun to play, and overall, the game is great, even if it feels generic on the long run and is kinda short. 